Today, we're going to talk about two very powerful characteristics, as Kathleen said, of leadership, of a leader, and how they fit together. So we're going to talk about identity, and we're going to talk about energy, and how those work together. And I think, speaking of overselling, that if, if you pay careful attention to what we're going to talk about this morning, you absolutely, positively will be successful in every way, including monetarily. But if you were like not to pay attention, I couldn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen. So I would suggest that you pay very close attention so you don't miss any tricks. <laughs> okay? All right, good. The mission goes through different jobs. So you can keep the same mission for your entire life. But it's not necessarily, you know, probably last night I was teaching school public health. I teach it, and, and we did the exercise that we're going to do later about the mission. And one young man raised his hand and said, "Well, my mission is to be a physician. He is one." And I said, ah, "Maybe not." And he looked at me strange. I said, "Well, that, that's a job." But the reason you're at the School of Public Health is that in ten years you're probably running a hospital, and ten years after that you might be, you know, Secretary of Health and Human Services, and. Do you mean physician all the way through as a job, or is it, he said, no, he said, my, my mission is pursuit of excellence. That's what I do. Ah, that you can live with your entire life. Everyone knows what your mission is. And the reason that we, it's so powerful to do it in a group, and I've done it both as individuals, one on one with somebody in the group, it's always better in a group because your, you know, your colleagues here are going to help you because they can see. You're in the frame. It's hard to see the picture. So the exercise is, can I step out and turn back and look at myself? Not easy to do. So it's very common to be able to do everybody else at the table but yourself. Because it really is, it really is fairly obvious. Now, is it going to be perfect? No, it's going to be quick and dirty. Does it change? My idea is that your mission is like a gem. Okay? And at different times in your life, you may see or you may show different facets of that gem, but it's the same gem. Okay. It's the same precious thing inside of you. That, I argue, does not change. That stays the same. Jobs change, roles change, lives change, but that's kind of your anchor. That will keep you, you know, steady, stable in the storm. 